only going to speak to like my experience with him. He never said anything mean to me. I thought right. he was actually a nice guy. I think he's probably perfectly fine in the real life. I'd probably go out and have dinner with him, but it's just, I just didn't, I think the way he played the game was like, almost like, I don't know. I, I just didn't really like how he played the game. And that's yeah, just very funny. too much, too strong. You know, and I, I hope he had fun, but yeah, I mean, you could tell by like, and I, I felt bad, like, you know, I was, I think you could tell by his face, he was shocked when the vote was read. didn't look at him. I think I was looking at Will, because I was like, how's Will going to react? Yeah. I, like, didn't even care about the person that was getting voted. <laughs> I honestly wasn't even trying to look, because I was just still like, I know this is illogical, but I was still like, okay, after, uh, I was like, I just, I can't look because I don't want the votes to come up with my name and everybody just lied to me. So I almost didn't look. And then near the end when he was reading all the Knicks, I was like, then I, then I peeked over. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. What I was, was doing as the person who, who knew they were going to get named by the, by the yeah. majority, what yeah. I was doing was looking at Ian because there was the, you know, first Nick the first Margaret, the second Margaret. And I was like, all right, here's where I'm going to find out. That, <laughs> yeah. uh, and then he whipped out a Nick. <laughs> and then he pulled out a Nick. I was like, okay. And then there was the, the you know, the third Nick. And I was like, yeah. I think we're going to be okay. Fourth yeah. Nick. Oh, I'm definitely okay. Fifth. <laughs> he was yeah. <both> out. <laughs> yep. You know, I was, cause I was, I mean, I was very stressed as the, the person like, like I, I mean, I felt as reassured as anyone could that I was not going to be the one going home, but I was still like, what if there's like, I, I, I couldn't, I, there was no, re I couldn't feel completely confident until it was over. Um, and so where I, and I was worried because I was like, okay, if the blind side that we're planning is successful and it's voted out, how is Will going to be, especially knowing once we all kind of realized like there wasn't going to be the time to like, do a head check, so to speak, to be like, "Hey, how how are you doing?" <laughs> I maybe I'm sure Will is feeling some type of way, but I'm sure. You know, I feel kind of like like a donkey's rear end. Um, you know, it is what it is. I can, <laughs> you know, I can accept that it wasn't me going home. So if there were to be a blind side, I'd rather it be not me. So I'm alive um it that must say something that like maybe they feel like they can work with me i think that will's a really valuable part and i just hope kind of that you know he was kind of drug along with nick because it is like so kind of precarious at the beginning where you know like you don't know who you can trust and like if you've got somebody that's like hey you're gonna be my right hand man like let's do this you know you don't want to be like no yeah. You know what I mean? You don't tell anybody no, especially exactly. not you kind of want to say yes to everybody. And so, like, if it was more Nick and Will was kind of just drug along, like, you know, it'll be good for Nick to be able to play by himself and without Nick. If we do go to Tribal, I'm still pretty confident that the vote would probably be Will, um, which is also a nice feeling, knowing that I'm probably not the next one to go. From there, it's going to be kind of a bloodbath, but like, for right now, it's fine, and I'll take that. I can live with that, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully we just don't even have to go to Tribal. Hopefully, like, we merge, and that's the next time I have to go to Tribal, so then I can just live a stress-free life for, like, however long, um, and it'll be a great time, and I'll enjoy every second of, like, not being like, oh God, who do I vote out? Oh, it'll be wonderful. So to be totally candid, I think I've said this to my team before. I didn't realize what the time commitment was going to be. So I have not been able to spend as much time as I would with really anyone on my tribe. I would say Jonathan, before we split into tribes, we spent a little bit of time together speaking to one another. And I really liked his energy. I like how he's very he docile is the wrong word, but just very even keeled. Whereas I'm a little bit more high energy uh, vocal. So I actually think that we are nice compliments and uh, wish I could spend a little bit more time kind of talking and strategizing with him. Uh, I also missed the, after the first challenge kind of uncracking of the code uh, or, or not their lack thereof, I guess on our, on our team side. And I feel badly that they kind of committed so much time when I wasn't able to. So I feel like 
I'm a little bit concerned for myself and that because I'm not able to put into the time, people might kind of be jumping at me because they haven't been able to make those connections. Um, but I'd say Jonathan's one I really have enjoyed working with. And I think Elijah's really smart and really thoughtful in terms of how he sees the game unfolding. So I'd like to work a little bit more with him. I spent some time chatting with him. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anybody I'm concerned about. McKenna, I really love her energy. She's, she's super bubbly like me. So again, like somebody I would really enjoy working with. Um, Micah has been chatting with me, although I haven't really gotten to know him as well. Um, Victoria's a bit more quiet, but again, I really enjoy her. I, there's really no one on the team and maybe I'm being too agreeable, but everyone seems really great. And no one's kind of rubbed me the wrong way in terms of being too calculated or negative. So I feel like with the exception of being bummed that I had immediately gravitated towards Nick and Will, and they're not on my team. I think everyone on our team's great. So I, I don't really have anything, uh, salacious to say. <laughs> I was really drawn to Victoria, just having seen Victoria play last season and seeming a bit on the outs. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm like, I can see Victoria's moves before they're being made and they're very transparent to me and I like that. Um, McKenna can work some social magic and I wanna stay close with McKenna and I want, I want McKenna to realize that she needs me and I'm her person. So um, I want to work with McKenna and I want her to trust me. You know, I, our dialogue right now, I'm very aware of. It's very much like, oh, well, someone told me. That someone told me needs to be names. And once we get to that level of trust that it's like, by the way, this person said this and it's specific names, then I will feel good about it. But right now we're both at, well, someone mentioned, someone said, um, you know, that means we're not there yet in the relationship. And Elijah, keep Elijah safe as long as possible. I think people will catch on at how good he is real soon. But I like him. Uh, he, we don't have a lot of one-on-ones, but I, we are in almost every, every group that I'm in at least, Elijah's in. I feel pretty confident in working with Mike. I feel confident in working with Mike right off the bat. I don't know if he's a long-term ally, I should say. Um, I also feel pretty confident working with Victoria. She had come to me before the first tribal when we were not on tribes and said, I'm really interested in working with you. So, and Mike is interested in working with Victoria and vice versa. And Mike wants to work with Kyle and I get a good feeling from Kyle and that's four people um, there. So I believe between the four of us, we could rope a fifth in. All right, we'll now bring in the Ruken tribe. Serpone, getting your first look at the new Ruken tribe. Nick voted out at the first tribal council. All right, let's get to today's immunity challenge. Today's challenge will be completed in three stages. In the first stage, three people will use a straw to transfer water to fill four solo cups. In the second stage, two people will stack five solo cups with a playing card in between. In the third and final stage, two people will work together to complete a jigsaw puzzle. The first tribe to complete their puzzle wins immunity and is safe from the boat. Losing tribe will go to tribal council where the second person will be voted out of this game. As alluded to in tree mail, you will also have a decision to make as a tribe. During your time to strategize, you will have the opportunity to play a game of chance as a tribe. If you win, you will be granted an advantage in this challenge. If you lose, you will be given a disadvantage. Your host will explain more about this opportunity to your individual tribe. While Serpone does have an extra member, uh, Julia is unable to attend tonight's challenge, so she will by default be the one sitting out for Serpone tonight. So we'll give you some time to strategize and we'll get things started. Okay, so we are gonna get into the advantage section you will not be told what the advantage is you won't be told what the disadvantage is 
Um, it is up to you whether you would like to play the game. So that is for you to decide as a tribe, as a unit. So. And we don't know what the game is either. Right. You don't know what that is either. Oh. Okay. Well, how confident are we in our water sucking and cup stacking and puzzle making skills? Are we talking personally? Okay. Like, yes. We all have to do it. I think I kind of like how it stands right now. Yeah, I think we have a good shot if we, even if we don't get an advantage. And I think the other tribe is likely to play the game. The worst uh, case scenario for us is if we, if we go for the, if both the tribes go for it and they get it and then we get the disadvantage. That's yeah. the worst case. So I feel like by a, if we avoid that by just not going for it, but. Right. Yeah, and I think even if they have an advantage and we have no change, I think we still have a good chance to win. Yeah, we don't want we don't want to get a dis disadvantage and right off the bat we're already all freaking out that we need to make up time. I'd rather be chill if they have an advantage, whatever. You know what I mean? We still have to do what we have to do yeah. right from the jump. They told us what we needed to. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I think our uh, decision of not to uh, do the play, like going in with a chance of like with an advantage or perhaps a disadvantage, um, I think it was more of um, since we just won one, uh, we weren't worried about like, okay, we don't have something to prove really. Um, but like, if we go for it and they also go for it and they get that advantage and then we get the disadvantage, that's going to hold us back even more. Um, so that was more of our thought process on like, okay, that's the worst case scenario. I think we should just play it. We should play it safe where we just go in and try our best and uh, try to pull out a W. Now we're going to decide if you are going to be playing for an advantage in this game. So every one of you needs to get a red card and a black card. Just, just you're going to vote on any, whether or not you want to play. It doesn't matter which one. doesn't matter what who first two two. or wow. How could do? <laughs> number. So if you want the tribe to play the game and risk it for an advantage, you are going to hold up the red card. If you want to play it safe and not play for an advantage, you will hold up the black card. However, the majority of you vote will determine whether or not you are playing for the advantage. Does everybody understand? Uh, repeat again, which one is which? So if you would <laughs> like to play for an advantage, you're gonna show a red card. Red means I wanna play. Black means I don't think we should play. Okay, everybody got their decision ready? All right, go ahead and reveal. <laughs> oh, I feel so horrible. Six of us picked uh, the black card, not for the advantage. And poor Will, our man out once again, he played, he wanted to play for the advantage. I felt so bad in that moment because he was just left out of the vote. He's trying to save his own skin. And now he's trying to play for the advantage to help himself. And yet, we almost all sent a message. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So <laughs> I hope he didn't interpret that as we were trying to throw the challenge because Lord forbid, I didn't want to throw the challenge. I don't know a single person who wanted to throw the challenge because just why we're not incentivized to do that. But um, I, I, that was definitely a moment where I, I felt bad for Will in that moment. Okay, the majority say no. So we are not playing for the advantage or disadvantage. All right, for Serpone on the water transfer, Elijah, Kyle, and McKenna on the cup stack, Micah and Mike, and on the puzzle, Jonathan and Victoria. For Ruken on the water transfer, we have Andrew, Parker, and Will. On the cup stacking, we have Kylie and Connor. And on the puzzle, we have Margaret and Michael. All right, for immunity, survivors ready? Go. Go, oh, guys. Got this. Suck it up, suck it up, suck it up. Spit. Got this. Transferring, transferring water using a straw to fill up to a line in four solo cups. Elijah, Elijah, it doesn't have to come out through the straw. 
Everyone's moving quickly. Good job, y'all. Go Parker! Go Will! Go Andrew! This is a test of endurance, even if it doesn't look like it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep sucking, keep sucking. <laughs> Everyone's got a good pace going. Kyle and jeans. I'm done. All right, Andrew says he's done. All right, Andrew, it. you look good. Andrew's done. good. Done. Ooh. All right, Will, you are all set. You're good. Can we go? Nope. Uh, I got to see Parker still. So. Come on, Parker. I'm done. done. Okay. McKenna's good. Good. <laughs> You're good, Elijah, hi. All right, Kylie and Connor, you guys can start. Elijah's Parker. good. And Kyle's good. Pup stackers, Mike and Mike. Oh. Connor on to his third cup very quickly. Mike on his third cup very quickly. Mike Kylie, always. Your third cup? Mike always face four. down. Mike <laughs> always mouth down on the cups. Always mouth down. Okay. Like this? Yes. That makes things uh, more interesting. Mike on the cup four. Morgan, that's five. Okay. One. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Kylie, you're good. Mike is full. Cool. <laughs> Come on, Connor. Connor placing his final cup. Yeah, Connor. Good job, Connor. You got it, Connor. It's all you. Yes. Two, three. Ruken can start on the puzzle. All right. We have Margaret and Michael starting on the puzzle. Going to add his fifth cup. He's got to stand for three seconds. One. Gone. Micah, one. Two, three, Micah's good. Mike's falls. Micah's good. Just wait for Mike. Your phone can start on, on the puzzle. You guys, you guys got this. I got it. Thank you, Andrew. We sure right, do. In the top left corner, you can see like yep. how many pieces you have to place remaining. Yeah, I got mm -hmm. a couple, so. It's leaning more towards the back. Start bringing them forward a little bit. It's okay, it's okay. Mike's resetting. Mike. All right, the puzzle is always the great equalizer. We sucked and we stacked just for you. Oh, Andrew. Sound, sorry, uh, there's no other way to say that. It's the truth. Uh, <laughs> the, the, I, I feel like production might disagree, but. They, were, they sucked and spit really well. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Mike moving a little slower now. A little more methodical with his approach. Doing good, Mike. See if it pays off. All right, it's starting to tip her towards the back, so bring it more towards the front. More towards me, right? Yes. Micah helping out as Mike builds. Mike with one more card and one more. Right. Keep bringing it towards you. The card's the easy part. More towards you, more towards you, it's gonna tip. Balls again. Mike, you got this. Stay calm. Move that one card piece down, it's bothering me. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, there we go. Wait, wait. Oh, no, that's right. That's right here. Right oh, here is right. Okay. Yeah, I got it by accident. That, it that worked. The other piece is like next to the S. Yeah. yeah. And the other yeah. one is down next to the left of the M, the top left of that queen. Yeah. Good, good. Balls again. Mike having a hard time getting that fifth cup up. You got this, Mike. You got this. Stay calm. Yeah, the, yeah. The, very, the, very, the very top is the corner. Yeah, you got it, you got it, nice. Good, yes.
little bit closer. Yeah, I'm you. There you go. Good. Good. Same thing with this one, right? Yeah. Yep. We can help guide it in. A little bit closer. Park for you, it's gonna fall. One, two, three. Let's go! Her poem to the puzzle room. Yep. You guys are crushing this. Perfect, yep. good job. You know. so why is 30 under... pieces to go for Rukan. A little bit of a late start for Serpone. You got this. Good job. Let's go, Jonathan. Let's go, Victoria. You all got it. That one goes to the other. Yep. Yes. Good job. Yes. Five pieces to go for Rukan. Come on, Margaret. Come on, Mike. You guys got this. There you go. Four. Nice. nice. There you I go. We got four. We got four. Got four. Got four. Got got four. Got four. One last. To go. To One top. last switch to make. Switch the top. Switch the top. Third and yes. Yeah. 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 Immunity. Good job, guys. Bye, y'all. <laughs> well, it was a hard-fought battle by both tribes. Rukan came out victorious tonight. Uh, they will not be attending the next tribal council. Sir Pone, unfortunately, you will be losing a member at our next tribal council on Friday. So congratulations, Ruken, and good night, everybody. Good challenge, guys. Good, good night. Work. Good night. Work. It's clear after tribal that we are not together. Uh, but I think what everyone felt was we didn't want to go through that anxiety again. So we really took a lot of time to talk about whose strengths and weaknesses um, would work best and where during the challenge. And I think that we did it significantly better than the other team. Um, and I think that's why we won. We, we crushed it. There's no other way to say it. I don't think the other team even got to the final stage until we were about like 90% done with, with our puzzle. Um, so I was very, very proud of everybody. Me, Will, and Parker, we killed it on the water sucking. I mean, I was like, I was, my God, I was sucking so fast. It was like spring break 2013 all over again. Um, but yeah, it was, it was overall great. We worked really well together as a team and it, I think it keeps us feeling positive moving forward. If anyone in the entire challenge screwed up, it was me, um, of course. And um, so I didn't really give the people doing the puzzle any time to get it done. So there was no way we were going to win. Um, they were already like 50% complete once I finally got it done. Um, so I'm telling everyone on the tribe, I feel horrible about it. You know, uh, uh, these competitions are so fun. And I didn't give Jonathan and Victoria a chance to play. Really, I mean, that is kind of true. But honestly, I'm just trying to save my own ass. I'm just like, you know, if if there's no reason to vote anyone out, well, you know, I'm a pretty good option because I fucked up the challenge. So we lost the immunity challenge. The other tribe was surprisingly fast. I did not expect them to do so well at that. But either way, we're going to have to go to tribal here. It seems like people want to target Julia. I mean, she didn't even show up to the challenge, so she's really unconnected from the tribe, hasn't really talked to anybody. But... We have two full days before travel council, so who knows what kind of hijinks could go on between now and then. I do feel bad because I think Micah said um, last night um, that Julia, like she said to him, because they did talk like once or twice, I think he said, and um, Julia said that this is like her busiest week of work like ever and then after this week she's like all free and she can't wait to play and stuff and I'm just like oh you know but yeah I don't, don't know that's that just what don't say that yeah she said she's gonna be busy the whole season she won't be able to come to anything <laughs> everyone's so like well that's the thing I've never played a game before where I've not had people where I'm happy to get I'm like see you later bye the, I genuinely like everybody, which is crazy. And I never thought I would say that, but um, Mike is really nice. Um, more of a player. Don't fully trust Elijah. Don't trust at all. Super big player. And McKenna, who I get along with so great with her, but I mean, smart and, um, 
and and really likable. And I think it's it's been tested already. The fact that she's been able to turn it around on Nick, that's dangerous. I'm not overlooking any of these people. Um. So. Coming on to this tribe, I felt really good about the fact that I was with Elijah, Jonathan, and Kyle, um, because we're part of the six-person group that also includes Parker and Michael on the other tribe. And I was hoping that this group of four would be able to bring in Mike, um, but because Mike views a group of four of us that includes McKenna, and Kyle as like, because he views that as a group of four, I really need to navigate this correctly because Kyle and I are in the middle of two groups of four. Um, I think my objective is to play Nick's strategy better than Nick, but I'll have to be pretty subtle about this and try to get both groups to vote out Micah without me pushing for that. Um, so. I believe that Elijah is relatively quiet and it sounds like he could be targeted next tribal council. So I'm trying to subtly push him to make better connections with Mike and McKenna. So I don't have to do any convincing myself. With the vote following immediately after the, the challenge, you know, people scramble and I never want to start those groups because I think that people will see you as like a Nick and someone who's running. I listen, I know who's running the show on this side. I, I, you know, I know the little sneaky snakes that we have and um, that, I, you know, I don't need to put myself out there as one of them. So, um, you know, just let them come to me and, and test it out that way. Who's coming to me, who's including me in what. And it was really evident because Elijah messaged me right away and so, and Elijah, like myself, seems to be in every single group chat that's made. Um, so Elijah obviously spoke to Micah. Micah said, you know, or Elijah said, one of them said, let's include Jonathan. So, and McKenna, and they all wanted to join. McKenna's like, I'm busy for 20 minutes, AKA I'm speaking to someone else, which I figured out was Victoria. I guess I'm more like risk averse. So like, <laughs> no need to like do anything funny. <laughs> like, right? Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, um, that seems like the easiest route. Mm -hmm. But and like, it's my gut. It's my gut reaction. But I'm also like, mm -hmm. I don't. That feels dirt. Like that feels like a dirty, easy move. Yeah, it, I don't like doing it. No, but like, if it's if I would have been going home instead, then I'll do it. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> yes, that makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. And I, the other thing is, I just like don't know her that well, and like that's on both of our, like me and her. Yeah. But, um, like I feel like there are people on the tribe that could do more for my game mm -hmm. that I wouldn't want to get out. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. And I guess like one way to like justify it is that I guess she does have a lot of friends on the other tribe. Like we were on the other side, like when it was all 17 of us, Will, I talked to Will and he, he lives in Philadelphia. He's not from Philadelphia, but he lives here. So we like connected on that level, you know? And um, so he's like, yeah, man, like you're good with me. Um, he's like, He's like, uh, and since we're good, he's like, definitely talk to Nick, definitely talk to Julia. He's like, because we kind of have a little thing going right now. So that scares me too, if we were to merge or something, Will's still around, you know? Um, yes, I mean, people said that, I mean, I don't know what they're basing it on yesterday, but they did say a few people, a few people mentioned that they were worried that she'd be the first to like flip on us and just kind of yeah. go work with other people because she has some connections to the others which I'm like, okay, it's surprising, but I believe it, sure. Um, Connor, um, Kylie, mm -hmm. maybe Margaret. Yeah, I feel like Margaret and, and Julia are close. Mm -hmm. um, and Connor. So I I'm guess like um, to like justify it as a game <laughs> move, I guess. But yeah, I, I do feel bad. <laughs> it feels like, 
I would, if I was busy with work or like had something come up like that, I wouldn't want people to hold it against me. Mm -hmm. Um, and I also hate like voting a girl out. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But then, yeah. yeah. But then it's going to have to happen sometime. And Victoria also wanted to make a chat. Kyle said he was busy. I said I was ordering food because I was. And, um, and also on a chat. And, uh, and she just wanted, Victoria wanted to get with all the people who we had made a six person group chat of um, a bunch of people before. Two of them are now on the other side, um, Parker and someone, I can't remember people in this game, it's too many. And, um, and so uh, the four remaining, which would have been Kyle, myself, Elijah and her should stay together. Elijah even like suggested that the other day he, he initiated a chat. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we, we, Mike and myself, Elijah, and then 20 minutes later, McKenna joined the call and they had already talked about Julia's name coming up and how it'd be easier. And I hate voting out women and I hate not giving someone a chance, but it's been a week. And I mean, you know, I would hate more voting someone else out who is really putting their all into it. Is it silly? Sure. Because would I love to get someone who's a bigger player out? Absolutely. Yeah. So it, it kind of stinks that I'm in this position right now that, um, you know, if it wasn't Julia or if it isn't Julia, then it's going to be me because normally I a vote like this. I would love to have my name all over it. Um, like I personally would like Elijah to go home right now. Um, and you know, if I didn't mess up the challenge, then I'd have a little bit more room to wiggle and and be like, yo guys, what do you think about this? But since I did lose it, if it's on anyone's mind, you know, maybe we should go after Mike, but maybe not this round. I don't want to give them any reason to switch it on to me if it already isn't. So, um, yeah, I mean, if I had it my way, then, you know, Victoria, Kyle, McKenna, myself, and then maybe pull in like Jonathan or Micah would vote out Elijah tonight. I think he's the smartest person on the tribe. I think that he probably got the advantage. Um, I don't know what the advantage is, so that scares me. Um, And if it really is Julia tonight, then everyone should be feeling super safe, including Elijah. So if he has that advantage, take him out now so that he can't use it next time. Um, But I can't say that because I said it to Kyle and Kyle agreed with me, but so Mike came up with an idea to vote out Elijah tonight, which might not be a bad idea because he is really smart and strategic and he 99% has the advantage. My concern is that if we don't vote Julia out now, it might be harder to get her out in the future. Whereas Elijah is a big target that we could use as a shield. And he really trusts me right now. So. There's reasons to vote out Julia, and there's reasons to vote out Elijah. Uh, And we're gonna have to come to a decision as to what the best move is at this point. But Serpone Tribe, welcome officially to Tribal Council. Let's start it off with Mike. Talk to me about the immunity challenge. Seems like it was was a little tough for you. Which one? I don't remember what, uh, no. It was, um, yeah, it was, it was a struggle. Um, looking at it again, I probably should have done the water. Um, not saying anything to the people who did. You guys did a great job. But yeah, I mean, my fingers were fidgeting. I got a little overwhelmed and I, I felt really bad about it. Um, you know, I think everybody's going to have their competition that they don't do well in. That was mine. It's not going to be a trend, but, um, you know. Yeah. Uh, McKenna, is it is it fair to determine a vote based on performance challenge? Like, should Mike be worried because of of how the challenge went for him? I mean, I think it's a fair. It's something to take into consideration, definitely. Um, I don't necessarily think it's an end all be all. I think there are a lot of factors that play into why someone would be voted off. All right. Elijah, tell me about the Serpone tribe. You guys have been together for a few days now. So what's the vibe on Serpone Beach? Um, I couldn't describe it, but I know that I like it. I liked everyone that I've talked to. Uh, there are a couple of people that I, I didn't get the chance to talk to before we got into this tribe, 
but I really like、um, everyone individually and everyone as a group. I think we work together well in challenges for the most part,、um, and I think we have really good conversations, game related and not game related. Awesome, love to hear it. Victoria, what is tonight's vote about for you? I think this vote. I just hope that I'm still here tomorrow.、Um, I think that that's the main thing I'm concerned about right now. Like, I I can't eat dinner before challenges or tribal, so I'm creating my <laughs> own survivor experience. That anybody but me strategy is never a bad one. That's for sure. Julia, how are you feeling about tonight's vote? I'm definitely nervous because I wasn't able to be at、uh, the challenge on Wednesday,、uh, so that obviously not being able to participate on the one that it's people do need to sit out from time to time. But I feel like the general ability for me to be as engaged day to day、uh, has been limited, and so I hope that people have gotten to know me where I've been able to spend the time、uh, and see that you know I'm I'm in it to win it too,、uh, and would be a great ally. Well, Kyle, it wouldn't be tribal council if we didn't talk about advantages. You guys know that a clue got sent out right after、uh, you were in tribes. I know you all saw it. So, how does some sort the possibility that some sort of advantage is floating out there? Does that impact the vote at all tonight? Well, it's definitely something that you have to take into consideration. You know, it's something that everybody knows is out there, and I think everybody here has thought a little bit about it. And the question is, if somebody does have it. Is this the time to play it? If you feel safe, maybe not.、Um, so all those things definitely become a factor in any any vote. All right, it is time to vote. I suck at challenges, but I was there, so I'm going to be voting for Julia. All right, I'm going to vote for Mike. Well, because I have not been able to participate in that challenge and wasn't sure what happened based on tribal and kind of hearing that maybe. He did not perform as well. It was kind of my only inkling, as I kind of mentioned on some of these other things. I, I think everyone's great and haven't had any bad connections with anybody. So I guess I'm voting based on performance of what I am assuming that happened at the challenge. Travel safe, Julia. You didn't have much time for this game or this tribe, and I'm happy to give you all the time in the world. All right, I'll go tally the votes. If anybody has an advantage or an idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Okay. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the Zoom call immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Mike. Julia, we're tied. One vote, Mike. One vote, Julia. That's two votes, Julia. Julia. That's four votes, Julia. One vote, Mike. Second person voted out of Survivor Monte Carlo, Julia. Julia, the tribe has spoken. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't take it personally. I feel like I've been an absentee contestant, so I wish you guys all the best, and I wish I could have played harder. So hopefully for next season I can get it. All right. Well, tonight you basically all said it. That was the easy vote, and、uh, it'll be interesting to see where we go from here. The easy vote's gone, so. Lots of gameplay in the next couple of days, and we'll see you on Sunday for the next immunity challenge. So thank you, thank you so much for、uh, for letting me participate. I honestly had so much fun getting to know different people from so many different walks of life. I feel like you know I wasn't able to really give the commitment that I wanted to to a show like this, but I really、uh, I really appreciate the opportunity, and I'm, I'm excited to see how this all shakes out.